Well, in reality, accidents rarely follow that sort of predictable pattern. So modern ship design also uses a more sophisticated method, the probabilistic approach. To explain the difference between deterministic and probabilistic, let's use a simple example. Imagine we're testing the durability of different smartphone models. We decide to drop each phone from a height of 5 feet, and if they don't crack, we say they're tough. Seems like a solid method, right? We've set a fixed condition, 5 feet, and checked the result. That's the deterministic approach. But what we should also ask is, how likely is it that someone will drop their phone from approximately 5 feet in the first place? We need to think about the probability of that scenario actually happening. A probabilistic approach takes this into account by looking at not just the outcome of a specific scenario, but also how likely that scenario is to happen. It's the same principle in ship design. Instead of assuming one specific damage scenario, the probabilistic method considers how likely it is that each of the compartments between the bulkheads will be breached and evaluates the ship's survivability in each case. This gives a more overall assessment of the ship's safety based on a range of outcomes, not just one.